This fifth segment of the overview tutorial shall focus on two tools located in the Meshes and Deform palette. The eighth tool in the palette is the Deform tool. Deformations are special types of operations used to reshape the form of an object. The Deform tool is used to apply a deformation to an object whose appearance changes by applying a shear, taper, twist, bulge, radial shear, radial bend, or bezier bend deformation to it. The type of deformation applied to an object is determined by the method option selected in the Deform Options dialog. Let's begin by creating an object to deform. Select the Polygon Drawing tool, and in the Polygon Options, select the first pattern icon. Create the polygon shape and extrude it to make it a tall object. Select the Deform tool, and in the Deform Options, select Taper. With the Deform tool active, click on the object, and a deformation box is visible around the object. The line that appears through the middle of the deformation box is the deformation axis. Click and drag one of the top corner points of the deformation box and observe that the top of the deformation box dynamically tapers. Click a second time and the taper is applied to the object. In the deform options, select twist. Before we proceed, undo to return to the original object before the taper operation we just executed. Now click on the object to display the deformation box, then click and drag clockwise one of the top corner points of the deformation box and observe that the top of the deformation box dynamically twists. Click a second time and the twist is applied to the object. In the deform options, select radial bend. Undo so that we return to the original shape again. Now click on the object to display the deformation box. Let's say we want to apply the radial bend deformation to only the upper half of the object. To resize the deformation box, hold down on the Option key on Macintosh, or the Control and Shift keys on Windows, then click and drag a bottom segment of the deformation box. As the bottom of the deformation box moves up, click a second time to end the resizing. Now that the resizing of the deformation box is complete, click and drag one of the top segments of the deformation box and observe the top of the deformation box dynamically bends. Click a second time and the bend is applied only to the top portion of the object which was inside the deformation box. Another tool in the palette is the Bend Along Curve tool, which lets you bend an existing object along a path. The object to be bent is called the source object, and the curve along which it is bent is called the path. In this example, we extruded a rectangle for the source object and used the B Spline Cubic Drawing tool to create a spline path. With the Bend Along Curve tool selected, Click on the source object first, then the path second, and the bend along curve edit dialog is invoked. Numerous options are available for controlling how the object bends along the path. Click OK to exit the dialog. The object now follows the shape of the path. We shall quickly show another example of the bend tool. Here we have a 3D pencil and a spline path. With the bend along curve tool active, we click on the pencil, then on the path. In the Bend Along Curve Edit dialog, move the Start and End sliders to control the position of the start and end of the object along the path. Click the Update button to see the results of your changes. Set the Start to 0% and the End to 100%, then click the OK button. The pencil is bent along the entire distance of the path. This concludes the fifth segment of the overview tutorial.